Yo, what's up everyone? Patrick here. Welcome back. Moving on to another word problem dealing with linear systems. So a total of 55 coins and nickels and dimes are in a jar. The coins total $4.95 and we have to figure out what's the value of the nickels in the jar. So what I'm going to do is introduce two variables. I'm going to let x equal the number of nickels in the jar. And then I'm going to let y equal the number of dimes in the jar. So notice we could create two equations with this information. So x plus y would be the total number of coins, 55, because the jar is just comprised of nickels and dimes. So x is the number of nickels, y is the number of dimes. So x plus y, the total amount of coins, the total number of coins is going to be 55, 55 coins. Now the total value of them is $4.95. So how can we make an equation with that information? Well, let's say that we have five nickels. How would we get the value of five nickels? Well, we would multiply it by five cents. And if it's in dollars, like this $4.95 is in dollars, in dollars, five cents is 0 0.05, right? So five times 0 0.05 would give us 0 0.25, 25 cents. So the way we can create the other equation is we would take each nickel is worth 0 0.05 dollars times the number of them would give us the total value of the nickels right there plus each dime is 0 0.10 or 0 0.1 dollars so we would have 0 0.1 times y equals four dollars and 95 cents like that now this equation that i have here it's in terms of dollars but you can also make an equation in terms of cents. So if we did that, if we made it in terms of cents, then it would be 5x plus 10y equals 495. Does that make sense? 5 cents times the number of nickels plus 10 cents times the number of dimes equals 495 cents, which is like $4.95, right? Because $4 has 400 cents plus the 95 would give us 495. And we can go from here to here if we just take this and multiply everything by 10. We can multiply the left side and right side by the same number and it will keep the same equation. Or not by 10, sorry, if we multiply it by 100. So if we multiply this by 100, we'd get five. Multiply this by 100, we get 10. Multiply this by 100, we get 495. So this and this, they're the exact same equation. Right, we just took this, multiplied it by 100 to get this. So you can do either one you're gonna get the same answer. I'm just gonna work with the, um, with the decimals. So to solve here, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna isolate for the y, so y would be 55 minus x. Then I'll take this and I'll plug it in for this y, so I'll have 0 0.05x plus 0.1, and then for the y, I'm gonna plug in 55 minus x equals 4.95. Then we're gonna solve for x, we could distribute 0.1 times 55 gives us 5.5. 0.1 times negative x gives us minus 0.1x equals 4.95, like that. And from here, what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring the 5.5 over, so we'll have 0.05x minus 0.1x equals 4.95 minus 5.5. So this here, the right side, would end up equaling negative 0.55. And then this here, 0.05x minus 0.1x, would give us negative 0.05x. So divide both sides by negative 0.05. Like that. So x, when you do this, you'd end up getting 11. So x would be... 11. So what's x? x is the number of nickels. There's 11 nickels and actually based on the question we actually don't even have to solve for y. They're asking what's the value of the nickels in the jar? Well the value of the nickels 
if there's 11 of them, each nickel is worth five cents. So we would get $0.55 or 55 cents. Right, that would be the value of the nickels. We actually don't have to solve for y, but if we did solve for y, we could take this, plug it in here. Y would be um, 55 minus um, 11, which would give us 44. So there would be 44 dimes, and the value of the dimes would be 44 times 0.1, or 10 cents, so $4.40. And notice that this plus that gives us that 4.95, so you could do a check as well. Right, but they were asking for the value of the nickels. The value of the nickels in the jar, because there's 11 of them, is 55 cents.